here is our problem. In this problem, we have a park ADBC and we can see that AC is along 3rd main road, DB is along 2nd main road and it is given in the problem that 2nd main road is parallel to the 3rd main road. That means AC is parallel to DB. We have a runner who is running around the park. He starts from point A and runs along AD. We have to fill up the blanks with angles that runner must turn at different points with respect to the road along AD. So the first fill up the blank is the angle by which the runner must turn to reach point B. So runner is running along AD, he takes a turn here, runs along DB and reaches point B. So we have to find the angle turned by the runner in reaching point B in the first fill up the blank. Second is the angle by which the runner must turn to reach point C. So in reaching point C at B he will take a turn and reach point C. So we will find the total angle turned by the runner in reaching point C. And finally we have the angle by which the runner must turn to reach back at point A. So the runner after C will turn here and reach point A. The important thing which we have to see here is that the runner after reaching point A is standing here only, he is not taking a turn in the direction of AD. Let's solve the question. By solving this problem, what we aim to learn is understand the real life application of parallel lines, Apply the properties of parallel lines in real life situations. So it is given in the problem that AC is parallel to DB. So for better visualization, we can extend these arms here. And we can extend this also. and this also and we can extend AD on this side and this on this side and BC on this side and on this side also now we can clearly see that DB is parallel to AC and BC and DA are the transversals. If we look at the figure and take DA as the transversal and DB and AC as the parallel lines, then we can see that this angle here, that means angle CAD and this angle here, that means angle ADB are co-interior angles. Similarly, if we take BC as the transversal, then this angle that is angle CBD and this angle that is angle BCA are the co-interior angles. Let's discuss the approach for solving this question. The angle turned by the runner in reaching point B will be same as the measure of angle ADB. So if we find this interior angle ADB, we'll be able to find the total angle turned by the runner in reaching point B. Let's do the first part. In the first part, we have to find the angle turned in reaching point B. An angle turned in reaching point B will be the measure of angle ADB. So measure of angle ADB is equal to angle turned in reaching point B Also, we know that DB is parallel to AC and taking DA as the transversal, then angle DAC and angle ADB will be co-interior angles and co-interior angles are supplementary. That is why we have angle DAC plus angle ADB is equal to 180 degrees. This implies in place of angle DAC, we can write 40 degrees. So 40 degrees plus angle ADB is equal to 180 degrees. This implies angle ADB is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees is equal to 140 degrees. 
So here we can write 140 degrees. This is the angle turned in reaching point B. So in the first fill up the blank we can write 140 degrees. Next part we have to find the angle turned in reaching point C and that will be equal to angle ADB that means this angle plus angle DBC that means this angle. So this is the angle turned in reaching point C. So we have already found out that angle ADB is 140 degrees and angle DBC is given to be 20 degrees. So adding the two we will get 140 degrees plus 20 degrees is equal to 160 degrees. So this is the angle turn in reaching point C. So in the second fill up the blank we can write 160 degrees. Last part is we have to find the angle turned in reaching point A. That will be this angle plus this angle plus this angle. But we do not know the measure of angle BCA. So first we will find the measure of angle BCA. If we take DB parallel AC and BC as the transversal, then angle DBC and angle BCA are co-interior angles and they will be supplementary. So angle DBC plus angle BCA is equal to 180 degrees. This implies we already know the value of angle DBC. This is 20 degrees. So 20 degrees plus angle BCA is equal to 180 degrees. This implies angle BCA is equal to 180 degrees minus 20 degrees is equal to 160 degrees. So here we can write 160 degrees. So as discussed, angle turned in reaching point A is angle ADB plus angle DBC plus angle BCA. And this implies angle ADB plus angle DBC plus angle BCA will be equal to 140 degrees plus 20 degrees plus 160 degrees which comes as equal to 320 degrees. So filling the last fill up the blank, here we can write 320 degrees. Let's summarize what we learned from this problem. We learned how to apply the properties of parallel lines in real life situations. We also learned how to apply the properties of angles in a pair of parallel lines.